Dear autistic people who are prone to lashing out during meltdown, I get it. I understand why you do it. I know you're hurt, angry, and unable to control yourselves. I know you don't feel listened to, that you feel worthless, and that you are confused, that you don't feel understood, and that you are scared and racked with self-loathing. I've been there myself. I have hurt a lot of people in my life too, for the reasons above. I have spent much of my life in a constant state of guilt and regret, and I am deeply sorry to everyone who has been hurt as a result of my words or actions. Autistic people who are prone to lashing out during meltdown, you have my sympathy and my empathy, but you still have a responsibility to heal your trauma as much as you can and understand your triggers so that others don't have to suffer as a result of your meltdowns. If necessary, avoid people who trigger you constantly and don't take responsibility their end, even after you've made it clear to them what your triggers are. Avoid people who can't understand you have no interest in understanding you, and judge you instead. Avoid people who cruelly poison others against you, who tell others that you are a bad person, when you and I both know that you are a good person, who isn't perfect, but is still striving to work on themselves. Apart from the above, for your sake and others, get help where possible. Speak to other people, preferably those closest to you, who know your good heart and can separate who you are from your distress behaviours. Surround yourself with others who understand the complexity and multidimensionality of who you are, and with others who display similar behaviours when in distress. Surround yourself with people who truly love and accept you and want the best for you. Find out why you become aggressive during meltdowns. What are your triggers? Find out which triggers you can change and control. Also find out which triggers you can't change and can't control. If necessary, avoid these things, activities or events. You're not a bad person. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But you have hurt others. Please acknowledge that. Denial will only lead to, to further suffering on the part of others and of yourself too. You know that overwhelming feeling of remorse that floods your being after your meltdown subsides? You know the incapacitating agony you experience when someone you love is crying before your eyes because of something you said or did to them. That proves you're human. That is what proves you have a heart. This is a better indicator of who you are than what happens during a meltdown, or the invalidating comments of others who would much rather smear you as a cold-hearted psychopath and watch you suffer without feeling a flicker of empathy for you. Remember these people are hurting too though. You are complex, you are traumatised and broken, and what you say or do to others when you are distressed is jarring and hard to cope with. But it's okay. I will not judge you at a time you need love, acceptance and understanding the most. I don't see bad people who deserve to suffer. I see suffering people who need help and understanding. Through help and understanding, the autistic person, the autistic people, who are prone to lashing out during meltdown have a better chance of reducing the harm they cause to others. Demonising them will only add to their self-loathing, which is often the source of the distress behaviours in the first place. It's a vicious cycle. Promise me that you'll get help though. Promise me you'll take responsibility, even when you can't control yourself. Apologise to the people you've hurt where possible. Find a support network of others, or at least one other, who are similar to you. Maybe speak to a therapist regularly. What triggers you? Who triggers you? Can the thing that triggers you be changed? If not, can it be avoided? Can the person or people in your life who trigger you be spoken to? Do they understand? If so, fantastic. Do the people in your life blame you for every, everything? Are they not open to communication? Then perhaps consider diplomatically stepping away from these people. Autistic people who are prone to lashing out during meltdown. Your behaviour cannot be excused, but it can be explained. You act the way you do for a reason, however much the people you hurt don't want to know that. But once you understand the reasons behind your distress behaviour, it is your responsibility to get help, heal yourself and try your utmost not to let it happen again. The well-being of others and that of yourself depends upon your taking responsibility. Things can get better 
and there are some beautiful, lovely and, and incredibly understanding people out there who can help you through this. We are in this together. Kindest regards from an autistic person who is prone to lashing out during meltdown.